in our bombastic review. George Miller's with us tonight. He's been many times on this show and even more on the Dave Letterman show. Uh, George appears frequently at both the Laugh Factory and the Improvisation in Hollywood. Would you welcome, please, George Miller. George. <laughs> Thank you very much. How y'all doing? Good. I am too. All right. And where where are y'all from? Well, I am too. That's great. Okay. Boy, oh boy, I've been having so much trouble lately. I just don't know what it is. I uh, oh, there was a big gay demonstration back east in Boston at the Maplethorpe exhibit. Yeah, and according to the newspapers, they were chanting, "We're gay. We're gay. We're gay. We'll never be silent again." Well, I should hope not with that important message. Well, I've been told when I left my hometown, we'd get to California, a very large Spanish community. I overreacted like I always do. The first day I'm in town, I'm in a restaurant. There's a guy right next to me kind of giving me the eye. I thought, well, maybe he's like that. If he says anything, I'll come right out and ask. So I'm chewing, and he's looking, and I'm chewing, and he's looking. And finally, he says, sir, would you please pass me the salt? I said, yeah, here you go. Are you... <laughs> he said, no. Do they use a lot of salt? <laughs> And I got good news. I got back $10,000 on my income tax. The bad news is I'm going to prison. <laughs> they got a lot of those rehab center advertisements. There's that one, and they show this couple, and the guy says, Would you believe that drugs and alcohol were more important to me than my wife? Yes, because we're looking at your wife. <laughs> Here's some stuff that bothers me. I don't like guys who brag about their temper. Hey, when I get mad, you don't want to be around. I don't want to be around if he's delighted. <laughs> what about people that give their animals too much credit? Yeah, my cat, my cat, she's mad at me today. Oh, yeah, she's planning on moving out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> flying very much. It's always the same when you fly. A flight attendant, could you make it a little bit colder in here? I can still move my toes. <laughs> it's about six o'clock in the evening, so naturally everybody got one of those little prisoner of war TV dinners. And afterwards, the flight attendant came around with a complimentary after-dinner mint. Oh, no thanks. I couldn't eat another bite. <laughs> the same thing happened to me that always happens anytime I have lunch or dinner on an airplane. I burn my tongue on one of those piping hot rolls. <laughs> Why don't they put a warning on those things? And fresh, oh yeah. I think the last time that roll saw an oven was about 72. Here's a good trick to plan the flight attendant. When she brings around your dinner, stand up and yell, I didn't order this and I'm not paying for it. Talk about odd terminology tonight, because sometimes people talk like it's in the future, but actually it's the present. Okay, sir, that will be three dollars. Oh, well, how much is it now? <laughs> what about all those people on TV who have occasional irregularity? Isn't that redundant? <laughs> Can you be irregular all the time? <laughs> I don't want to know the answer to that, by the way. I saw a great redundant sign one time. This is true. Watch your step. Sidewalk is uneven and not level. <laughs> hey, that sign is clear and not murky. <laughs> Here's a great sign. Schools open, drive carefully. Gee, I sure wish school would let out so I could start ramming into people again. <laughs> terminology. They've got it in the help wanted section of the newspaper. We're looking for a self-starter. What the hell is that? Somebody walking around with a key in his butt? <laughs> 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 
And people say stuff I don't understand. When Reagan would talk about the Russians, he would always use this phrase, trust but verify. I never understood trust but verify. If I trust my girlfriend when she said she was home by herself last night, I don't have to verify by checking up, which I did, and she's a lying bitch. <laughs> stupid things. True story. When I first came to Los Angeles, I went to a hotel. I said to the desk clerk, can I leave a wake-up call for 11? The guy actually said this. 11 o'clock? <laughs> I said, no, 11 a chicken. <laughs> and my favorite television question of all time, excuse me, do you have any gray poupon? No, I just had a physical. I'm feeling much better. <laughs> I've never, never seen you work better. We'll, we'll be right back. Stay with us. Driving a Hyundai Excel has never felt better. 